Today, we're going to take a look at how we can use LangChain with OpenAI in Azure. Now, for those of you that don't know, OpenAI can be accessed in one of two ways, either through the OpenAI API directly or via the Azure version of OpenAI's API. Now, I'm going to show you how to do all of this within LangChain. So we can have LangChain, OpenAI and Azure. So the first thing that we're going to do is head on over to portal.azure.com. You will naturally need an Azure account if you don't already. But once you have set that up, all you're going to do is head on over to your subscriptions. Make sure you have a subscription. You may need to create one. So you add a subscription there. Mine is called development and testing. So, okay, I know that is there. Then I'm going to head over to Azure OpenAI. Uh, if you can't find any of this stuff, you can actually just go up here and type it in. Okay. You may also need to create that resource, but once you have it, Azure OpenAI, you come over here and we already have a deployment down here, but what I'm going to do is create a new one so we can go uh, from start to finish. So we're going to create a new deployment. I'm going to use that subscription that I showed you earlier. I'm going to use a resource group. So you may also need to create a resource group. You can click create new if you don't have one already. And I'm going to go to instant details. The name will be call it YouTube demo, All right? Pricing tier, a standard S zero, and we can go on to next. Okay. Now here you just set up your security, uh, network security items. For me, I'm just going to go with all networks tags. So this is naturally if you have many people and categories on your Azure instance, I I'm not going to do that. Okay. And once you've done that, you have the terms, you just go down to create. Okay. You will have to wait a moment while that is deploying. And once it has deployed, you'll Look at this, your deployment is complete. From here, we want to go to, I'm not sure the best way, but I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go back to Azure OpenAI and you'll be able to see your new resource or deployment in there. So I'm going to click on that deployment and there's now a few things that we need to grab from here. Okay, so we have the endpoint. So let's copy this. I'm going to go to this notebook so you'll be able to find your own version of this notebook linked near the top of the video right now, or if not in the video description. So I'm going to come down to here and you see that we have this OpenAI API base, right? That is, that's the endpoint. So I'm going to replace that with what I just pasted from the endpoint. So YouTube demo OpenAI Azure.com. I also need the OpenAI API version. Uh, right now, the one of the most up-to-date versions, or the version that I'm using at least, is this. So there, there might be more recent versions, but that's it works right now, so I'm using that. We want to set the OpenAI API type, which is Azure. And we also want to set the OpenAI API key, right? So where do we get that? We want to come over to keys and endpoint and we just copy this okay and we just paste it into here so once we have our items there what we now need to do is we want to go to azure openai studio open that and this is one of the main differences between the default version of openai and the azure version of openai with azure or actually with the default version, we would just call the model endpoints. We would say, okay, we want to use GPT-4 and we do that. You can't do that with the Azure version. You actually need to create a deployment for every model that you'd like to use. So you'd come over to create new deployment and you see I currently have no deployments. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new one. I'm going to choose a model. So we have a few here. Um, let's go with a GPT-4 model version. We can, let's use the default and deployment name. So this is the deployment name that you will use within LangChain to uh, 
uh, connect to this deployment, right? So it needs to be unique. I don't currently have any other deployments, so I can call it whatever I want, essentially. So I'm going to call it chat endpoint. Okay. I'm going to create that. Okay. So I now have chat endpoint. So I'm going to come over to the code again. I'm just going to run the pip install up at the top here. And then I'm going to come down to here. So I have deployment name. I need to change this because I called it chat endpoint. So we have the chat endpoint as our deployment name. We have our model name, which aligns to our deployment over here. Now, if we try to run this straight away, we'll get an error. It won't work. So after waiting a little while, it will work as we can see here. So for this, it took sort of three to four minutes for that to actually deploy. Now, what we've done here is we're using a, a chat model. So when we're using chat model, we use uh, line chains, like system messages, human message, and AI message to create that sort of chat log. So we initialize it with the system message. Then we basically system message just tells the model how to behave. Okay, so I'm saying that it's basically it's an AGI, but it cannot answer any questions about cheese because it just doesn't understand cheese as a concept. Okay, so we can ask it like, hey, how are you doing today? What is the meaning of life? And it's going to respond, you know, really typical, like as an AI, I don't have emotions or personal experiences, so on and so on, but I'm here to help. And then it gives you kind of a generic meaning of life answer. Okay, cool. So after that, we want to take this message, the AI message and append it to our messages. Okay. And then we can feed that back into the model. So I'm going to take all those interactions so far and I'm going to ask you another question. Can you give me one concrete example of one of these interpretations? So interpretations, that's a very, I'm not specifying what exactly I want to know about in that query. In order for that to work, it has to rely on the previous messages. So it's going to need to take a look at this. But because it's a chat model and because we appended the response to those messages, it will understand that we're asking about the interpretation of something around here. So we're saying what are the interpretations of the sort of meaning of life that people have been debating for centuries. Okay. So in order to answer that, it needs to have some of that conversational history, which it does. So we ask that question, okay, and we get this. So one concrete example of an interpretation of the meaning of life is found within the philosophy of existentialism. And yeah, it's like, it's a pretty good kind of like meaningful answer, I think. So that's great. It's working as an expert AGI. Now, just to confirm that it is still considering its system message that we initially set it up with, we can say, okay, something really simple. What is the color of cheese? So we can ask that. And it says, as an AGI system, I'm unable to provide any information related to cheese. I apologize for the inconvenience and so on and so on, right? So it's it's considering all those previous messages. So everything seems to be working. And we have, rather than use the typical open AI API endpoints, we're doing this through Azure's like open AI offering. So, Everything seems to be working. That looks good. And that is exactly what I wanted to show you in this video. So that is it for now. I hope this has been useful and interesting. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.